Welcome everybody to a brand new and final Blu-ray and DVD out and about video for 2018 and this is a jam-packed release week guys we've got so much stuff here this week big name releases you've got everyone's favorite anti-hero Venom hitting store shelves along with the sci-fi action film The Predator, the family fantasy film The House with a Clock in Its Walls, The Murder Mystery, A Simple Favor, as well as Screen Factory is releasing a collector's edition of John Carpenter's Starman, and Shout Select is releasing a collector's edition of the comedy The Jerk, plus so much more releases. Again, very jam-packed final release week of 2018 here, guys. So let's check out the deals, exclusives, and we're at our first location, Walmart. So let's go in and see what they got. All right, everybody, we are in at Walmart here, and I am seeing this display for the Predator right here, guys. Very nice display here. And on the side of this, I am seeing they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $24.96 here. Right here, I'm really actually liking the cover to that. I, I like with the the whole like heat vision and everything. I love that. Very cool over here. They also have the Blu-ray DVD and digital right here for $19.96. They have this limited edition gift set Blu-ray DVD and digital only at Walmart includes. Funko Pop keychain there, uh, looks like the Predator in his sort of, um, uh, invisible stage, even though it's like green. Fugitive Predator, I guess it is. Huh, it looks pretty cool there. That you get, the Funko Pop keychain, that's $22.96. Then they have the DVD over here for the Predator, all the same cover art as well. And this, that is for $17.96 as well. And... Bob and I ended up doing a movie review on The Predator. You can catch it on the movie review playlist. And we honestly really... I guess I was more of a fan of it than Bob was. But we actually really did enjoy it. I actually really enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was a really kick-ass movie. You know what? I know a lot of people honestly weren't really keen on this movie. They didn't love it. They were very lukewarm on it or frankly flat out hated the movie. I really did not hate it. I really enjoyed the movie a lot. I thought it was really solid. I thought the action was kick ass in here. I think the Predators looked great. I thought the kills and the gore were really awesome here. I was a big fan of this movie. I thought Shane Black did a really good job here. I thought all the actors did. It's, it's a pretty good movie and I don't know what people were expecting but it, it actually much better than I think a lot of people gave it credit for maybe I was just in the mood for a good Predator film and I got it. I mean, I was I was really loving this movie. I love that it was R-rated. I love that it was no holds barred. Um, some of it doesn't work at times. Some of the characters may be a little flat and some of the CGI isn't always the greatest, but it's a cheesy B-movie action film. And that's all I was looking for and I got it. I was really ha happy with it, guys. Definitely let me know what you guys think of The Predator, though. I am very interested to find out. Like I said, I really love the film, but I know it's not for everybody, though. Other than that, that is it over here, man. A lot of great selection for The Predator here. The hunt for the best holiday gift is over. <laughs> very nice here. Very, very cool display here, guys. Let's see what else Walmart has in store for us, guys. Alright guys, we are in this area of Walmart here and the first thing I am seeing is they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital of Venom for $27.96 here. And I really do like that cover art with like, it's almost like comic art of like Venom actually like with the tongue like coming out and sort of like with the teeth and everything. Really, really cool there. I really love that. They also have over here the Blu-ray, DVD, digital and retro action figure here you can see kind of looks like venom there huh very nice there with that i like that and that is 27.96 only at walmart yeah huh if you are a fan of these retro action figures that's actually pretty cool right there not bad at all 
They also have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of Venom right here for $22.96. And I actually really like this artwork too, with like half of Eddie Brock's face and half of Venom's face. That's actually really cool. I like that one a lot. That one I like, and I also like this art artwork too. Actually, both are really cool. No matter what artwork you get, it's actually not bad. They also have over here the DVD and digital for Venom for $17.96. And my friend John and I did a movie review on Venom. You can catch it on the movie review playlist. And we thought the movie was good. You know, there's a lot to really like here. I really like Eddie Brock and Venom's relationship there. Um, the back and forth that they have, the comedy between the two. I think Tom Hardy kills it as, as Eddie Brock. He does a great job here. The action is pretty decent. The CGI is pretty good. There's a lot going for the, the movie. It's actually not bad. I thought this movie was going to be a complete train wreck, and not at all. It was actually far better than I could have ever anticipated. I, I was really happy with the movie. Now, there are things that are not really great with the movie. It's PG-13, and I think they could have went more with R. I think the villain is a little bit weak sauce at times. Uh, there, there's some things going against the movie, but overall, I think the movie is actually really solid, and I really like it a lot. I, I, I would definitely say definitely watch it and if you're a fan of the movie definitely buy it it's, it's definitely worth it to, to get man like I said if you're a fan of Tom Hardy or a fan of the Spider-Man world with, with, with Venom it's worth it because I think they do the character justice it's actually really really well done guys e easily a recommend easily then over here I'm seeing they have the house with a clock in its walls the 4k Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $24.96 the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $19.96 here, and they have the DVD here for $17.96, and I got a chance to watch this on Amazon Prime, guys, and I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a really fun film for kids. I think adults can really enjoy it. It's got a lot of really cool and wonderful effects in here. I think the characters are really likable. There's a lot of imagination and creativity behind it. Uh, yeah, you know what? It was a really well done film, guys. I was actually really pleasantly surprised. I don't know what I was really expecting. I don't know whether it was going to be sort of this dud of a movie that people praise but end up being kind of lackluster. But no, I think the magic behind this is really cool. And it really opens up kids' imaginations in a big bad way. I, I would easily recommend this. I would. It's very, very well done, guys. The house with a clock in its walls, it could have been a little bit of a dud because there's a lot of really great fantasy films out there, but this ends up being a really great one for kids. One that you definitely should check out. I was a really big fan of this. I really like this movie a lot. I think, again, this movie is, is a treat for adults and kids. It's a really fun film. Easily check it out, guys. Easily. Then, over here, I am seeing they have a simple favor. The 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital for $24.96, the Blu-ray DVD and Digital for $19.96, and they have the DVD here for $14.96. And Nick and I did a movie review on a simple favor. You can catch that on the movie review playlist as well. And we really enjoyed this one, man. It's a very interesting murder mystery about this woman that that is not exactly the nicest chick you'd ever met but you know this woman cares for her as a friendship and when she goes missing you know her friend tries to find out what happened to her and the mystery behind it and and just what's going on and and why all this the the secrets and it's very well done it really is i really like this movie i think the mystery aspect of it is the best part of it Anna Kendrick, Blake Lively are really great in here as well. Henry Golding from Crazy Rich Asians, also really fantastic in the movie as well. I was really surprised by this one. The trailers don't give a lot away. And in our review, we didn't really talk about any of the, uh, the, the, the mystery stuff. Only because everything we would have talked about would have been a spoiler. I mean, I can't give away much other than to say it's really interesting and really intriguing. And I don't think you'll see a lot of this stuff coming. There's moments of like soap opera ishness in the movie that kind of is a little lackluster, and some of the comedy feels forced and doesn't completely work. But I'm telling you guys that it is a really good murder mystery, adult 
thriller. I would say so. And it's worth checking out. I would. I definitely do think it's worth ch ch checking out, guys. Definitely give it a chance. Then over here, I am seeing Airstrike, the DVD for $12.96, the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $14.96. Uh, Bruce Willis, Adrian Brody, inspired by true events, they fought World War II's greatest battle. Hmm, interesting. The cover looks really cheesy as shit, though. All eyes, you never imagine a story you won't believe. As well as, all eyes, all about it. Hmm. Yeah, see, he, he keeps on doing a lot of this, like, straight to Blu-ray and DVD work. I don't know, you know, so some of this stuff, I like Bruce Willis, but some of this stuff ends up being really crappy. And the cover art looks really shitty, too. Uh, I, I just don't know about this one, guys. I mean, I like a good World War II story, and this could be interesting, but at the same time, it's straight to DVD, so it may just be a real turd. Let me know what you guys think if you've seen it. I like I like Bruce Willis though, but he's got to stop doing these sort of movies, man. They're just straight to DVD stuff. I know Bruce Willis can can do better. He's a good actor, but hmm, I don't know about that one. Then over here, I am seeing Assassination Nation, the Blu-ray digital for seventeen ninety-six, the DVD for fourteen ninety-six here. I got a chance to watch this movie on Amazon Prime, guys, and it is one mean-spirited movie, guys. It is mean. Uh, mean Girls Meets the Purge, that's pretty accurate, I'm not gonna lie. It's just this one town that basically... All this town gets hacked, and all the secrets come out, and people's lives get ruined, and... People start killing one another and turning on each other, and it is just a really mean and nasty film, guys, and none of the characters are likable at all. They're really just, just really cruel people, and you don't get to care about anybody, and it's just, it's, it's, it's just very, very cruel, I guess. That's, that's all I can say, man. I mean... I mean, this movie is violent and bloody and very just offensive in a lot of ways. And maybe that was the point to making this movie. I mean, maybe that was the point to sort of throw it in people's faces. It's not a terrible movie. It's okay. I enjoyed it for what it was, but I can see a lot of people not liking this movie. It's, it's really one of those movies where it's going to turn off a lot of people, and I, I can't blame them. Uh, you know, at, at moments I was, I was turned off by the movie, but, uh, it is what it is. It's making a statement, and again, Mean Girls Meets the Purge is a pretty accurate description, guys. Um, I would say give it a chance out of curiosity's sake, but other than that, it's not really a great film. It's more of just a skip it. There's better films out there. Some of the Purge films are better. Heck, I'll even say Mean Girls is better. Yeah, it's curiosity, but that's all it is. Hmm. Then over here, I am seeing they have Monster Party, the Blu-ray for twenty. Well, I'm sorry, for twelve ninety-six, the DVD for nine ninety-six here, and I got a chance to catch this on Amazon Prime. And this is an interesting movie. Basically, it's about these sort of thieves who go into this sort of rich people's party. And find out that they are, they're basically an AA meeting for, for killers. And they're stuck in this house with them and they have to survive and try to, try to kill some of the people that are hunting them down. And it's, it's really kind of an interesting movie. I liked it. It has shades of don't breathe in it with the thieves and going into a place where they, they think they have it under control, but they don't. It has shades of that, guys. It's it's interesting. I like the acting in here. Uh, Robin Tunney's great. Julian McMahon, Lance Reddick. Everybody's really good in here. I like the concept. It's not bad. It's okay. It's not great. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it, but I think in better hands, it could have it been a little bit more powerful of a movie. 
it's still worth checking out though. It really is, and I still enjoyed it for what it was. Could have been a little bit better, but I think with the great concept to it and the good acting, I think it pulls it together pretty well. Definitely check it out. It is a curiosity though, very interesting film. Then the last thing over here I'm seeing is Little Women, the DVD for $14.96 here. And I didn't even know this came out this week. Um, I know this got advertised in the theaters that it was coming out. Honestly, I saw the trailers, guys, and I was not really one that wanted to check it out. Um, it looked very generic and just the same old, same old kind of thing. Not my cup of tea, but I know that, that Little Women has been adapted in many, many times. Uh, book format and other movies and the cast seems interesting the trailer looked okay but it didn't seem like something I was honestly just genuinely interested in checking out let me know what you guys think if it was worth my time should I go back and check it out definitely let me know um, it's probably a good movie to check out during the holiday time if you're a fan of these type of movies probably is hmm not something I was generally interested in but you know, if it's worth my time, I will check it out. Definitely let me know, guys. Other than that, that does it for this section. A lot of stuff to check out, guys. All right, well, let's see what else Walmart's got. All right, guys, we are over in this section here of Walmart. And there is a few titles that I see over here as well that looks really interesting. One of them is Michael Moore's Fahrenheit 11.9, the DVD for $15.96. And honestly, I did not get a chance to watch this. Uh, I think I've told you guys in the past I'm not the biggest fan of political documentaries. Not that they're a bad thing. If you guys like it, that's okay. But it's just not something that I'm really into. I... I enjoy Michael Moore as a documentarian. There's a few of his documentaries that I've actually liked in the past, and he's really good at exploiting a lot of things and exploiting a lot of people and bringing to light a lot of issues. But there are moments where he tends to go a little overboard, guys. Um, now, if you're a fan of the president here, well, then you're not going to like this movie. If you're not a fan of him, you're probably going to like like this movie. It's... It, it's one extreme it doesn't tell both of the tales it's it's it leans more to the left than the right it depends on where you stand in your politics like I said I don't really get into it too much I do have my opinions but they're just my own I don't really try to go overboard and cram them down your guys throat that's not really my thing and this channel is not about that um, if you like Michael Moore, this documentary might be up your alley. If you're not, then probably skip it, guys. But, you know, he's done a lot of good stuff in the past. Maybe this is good. Definitely let me know what you guys think of Fahrenheit 11.9 right here. Kind of interesting with the golf club there and the White House exploding into a mushroom cloud or something, you know. Definitely tells a statement. Put it that way. It's a big, bad statement right there. That's what it is. Then I'm seeing over here they have Deceived, the DVD for $9.96. And I looked at this cover, and the cover is really weird because this cover completely reminds me of that movie that Halle Berry did, like earlier this year or last year, um, where she, like, her, like, child got kidnapped or something. Yeah, kidnapped. And it looks like, like the same cover. They just ripped it off, which is really weird. Uh... I don't know. Mm, I don't know. It just looks like a completely ripped off cover. Kind of, kind of just caught my eye, guys. Uh, the House That Never Dies. Reawakening. Very creepy looking cover there. I kind of like, like that cover. Very creepy cover. Hmm. Not bad cover there. Uh, Elizabeth Harvest, which you saw last week. Sheborg. Sheborg. Part woman, part machine. Total destruction. <laughs> uh, gas will provide all these weird titles that only Walmart gets but I love it guys only Walmart can get this stuff uh, and then the other thing over here I am seeing is they have the super here the blu-ray DVD and digital for $14.96 the DVD for $12.96 and I got a chance to see this on Amazon Prime guys and 
Oh, did I not like this movie. Ah, uh, you know, this movie didn't start out bad. It started out okay. I was actually intrigued by it. Basically, it's about this guy with his kids who gets a job at this sort of, um, sort of run-down sort of hotel, motel thing with a lot of the residents and people are killing the residents and nobody knows who and it's sort of like a lot of finger pointing this person's doing it that person's doing it there's a lot of creepy people it's it's sort of a, a who done it but it's not very good though guys it's really lackluster and the reveal in the movie the whole reveal of what happens and who actually did it is really fucking lame it really is like it makes no fucking sense it really does it's fucking bizarre it makes no sense and the ending's really stupid, and, it, and I mean, the, there's a lot of stupid decisions in the movie and characters that are really annoying, and uh, it had promise, but it's not really that good. But the reason why I wanted to check this out was because of Val Kilmer right here. I don't see Val Kilmer in a lot of stuff anymore. I know somebody told me once that he had throat cancer. He looks completely different. If you didn't know it was Val Kilmer, you might not ever, like, just recognize the dude he is just completely unrecognizable he's you know like i said cancer has got to him in a big bad way and you know you can tell that his voice is dubbed and it, there's a lot of you know it's not a great performance by him but i don't think he can honestly get much work anymore guys it's sort of lacking for him i remember when i saw him in the snowman i didn't even know it was him until like looking him up on imdb like it's cool that he's still getting work. I love Val Kilmer from back in the day, but, uh, you know, I'll have fond memories of him, but stuff like this, even though you might love Val Kilmer, I'm telling you guys to, to skip it. Not really all that good, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's a skip, unfortunately. As much as I love Val Kilmer, it is a skip, guys. Not very good. Other than that, that does it for Walmart here, guys. Really good selection, as always. Always love it here, guys. Let's get out. The selection, the displays, the exclusives. Walmart definitely has it this week, guys. It is a very good week for physical media. So much stuff to come out, guys. My God, man. Uh, some really good stuff here. I'm loving all of the cool different kind of artwork and again the Funko keychains and the exclusives. I kind of feel this is going to be a really good last out and about for 2018. I just have a feeling that we're going to get some really great selection at all the stores now. Again, I don't know. I'm not a genie. I can't predict anything. But it just has a really good feeling that we're going to end 2018 on a really strong note, guys. It is going to be great for physical media. So I am definitely looking forward to what the other stores have. Hopefully more exclusive, more displays, uh, more great deals. So yes, I am definitely looking forward to it. And Walmart, as usual, did not disappoint, guys. So let's now head to the next location. And hopefully our luck for this out and about will continue, guys. Let's get going. All right, everybody. We are at our second location, Target. Now, I'm going to admit to you, man, like I said, Walmart had great selection. They had a lot of stuff going for them this week. A lot of releases just pouring out this week for the final one of 2018. And as I said, I feel like there's going to be a lot of really good stuff to show off this week. But the one that is the gamble to check out is Target. I'm just not sure what Target's going to have this week. I don't know if we're going to see any exclusives. I don't know whether or not we're going to see a lot of great selection. I just don't know. Target is one of the biggest gambles every single week. You never know what you're going to get every single time here. And, you know, last week I thought we would have gotten some really cool exclusives, but we got nothing. So, like I said, it's kind of like a roulette wheel. You never know what you're going to get, but I'm always excited to go in and find out because I'm always hoping... We get some really great stuff from Target every week, so let's cross our fingers. Let's hope we get some good stuff here for the final one of 2018. Hopefully, Target will deliver just like Walmart did. Let's head in and check it out, guys. All right, guys, we are in a Target here, and the first thing I am seeing is they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital of The Predator for $29.99 here. 
And this is an only a Target exclusive. It's a, let's see if I can zoom in on here, a 36 page booklet on the evolution of the Predator. Huh, very nice. I, I like that. First exclusive we've seen here at Target. Not bad here. Same kind of artwork we've been seeing here. Not bad there. Uh, you also have the regular 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $24.99. You also have the Blu-ray DVD and digital of the 36-page booklet as well over here. If you didn't want the 4K, they have the Blu-ray for $24.99. The regular Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $19.99, and the DVD over here for $17.99. Not a bad selection for the Predator, guys. And this movie is directed by Shane Black, man. Now, I love me some Shane Black. I don't know about you guys, but I love me Shane Black. Um, whether it's Iron Man 3, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, he wrote the Lethal Weapon films... I tend to really like him as a as a director. Of course, he directed The Nice Guy, which is a really great movie as well. He's good. I really like him a lot. And I think that this movie, The Predator, is, is really good. You know, weirdly enough, you know, everyone's like, well, it's not serious and gritty like, like Predator. Look, guys, Predator and Predator 2 and everything, they're pulpy B-movie style action films. They're not meant to be taken seriously. And I think... People, I mean, they're classic films, but I think people have, like, rose-colored glasses on and think that they're these more, like, serious type of films. They're really not. And The Predator was just kind of like those films. Maybe it wasn't how you remembered it, and maybe that's why you didn't like it, but I, I had a ball with this film, man. I was in the theater just having a really great time with it, and it is, I think, it's really well done. Like I said, just my own opinion, and it's not for everybody, but I really did enjoy it, guys. I just I just think it's worth it. Then, over here I am seeing they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray Digital of Venom for $29.99. They have the Blu-ray DVD and Digital for $22.99. Now, they did supposed to have a gallery book for Venom for the Blu-ray and DVD, and it kind of looks... A lot like that right here guys but unfortunately they all ran out there was no more left here guys and there's none of the DVD either unfortunately kind of a shame because it all sold out which really really sucks it sold out fast guys like it went really quick so unfortunately none to show but shame <laughs> But I will say, though, man, that Venom is honestly a really, really great film, man. Um, better than, of course, I was expecting. And it really does pay homage to the character in a really, really great way. And the movie is directed by Ruben Fleischer. Now, Ruben Fleischer directed Zombieland, one of my favorite zombie films, man. Really, really well done. And the unfortunate thing is I just wish this was rated R. You know, there was an interview with Tom Hardy that said that this was supposed to be rated R, and they cut out like 40 minutes worth of material that could have been R, and it's some of his favorite 40 minutes. I mean, he's an honest actor. I love him, and I love Tom Hardy. Speaking of Tom Hardy, man, he is like fucking awesome. Almost everything Tom Hardy does is great. Even if the movies aren't great, Tom Hardy is really good. He is fantastic in this movie, guys. I thought it was going to be a paycheck movie, but it's actually really, really well done. He did a great job with this movie, and for me, it's it's well worth it, guys. It really is. Venom is great. I, you know, honestly, even if you don't like the movie, you got to appreciate Tom Hardy. He's fantastic in the movie. Really, really good, guys. Then over here, I am seeing a simple favor. The 4K Blu-ray and digital for $24.99. The DVD for $14.99 and the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $19.99 here. And man, I actually really do enjoy this movie a lot. And you know, I'm not a huge fan of Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick is okay. I haven't really loved the Pitch Perfect movies and Blake Lively does some good stuff but she's done a lot of not great stuff either. Like I said, the trailers, I was interested, but I was like, uh, two actresses that I'm not really high on. 
but they both have a solid performance here. They both do a great job here. And the movie's directed by Paul Feig. Now, if you guys don't remember Paul Feig, the Ghostbusters remake? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys remember that one. Uh, yeah, it is really not a good movie, that one. And he's done a lot of comedies with Melissa McCarthy. He's not really known for these type of movies, like a thriller or a murder mystery. But guys, he hit it out of the park. He did a great job with this movie. And I'm really surprised because from the director of the Ghostbusters remake, I would have never thought this, but it is really, really well done, guys. He did a really solid job with this. And again, not giving any in a way any spoilers, but it is worth it. And a lot of twists and turns that you are not going to see coming. Very well done, guys. Then, over here, I am seeing they have... Uh, the house with a clock in its walls, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $27.99, the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $22.99, and the DVD here for $19.99. And man, again, I really do enjoy this movie. And speaking of really great actors, Jack Black. Man, I love Jack Black. I really do. Jack Black is such a really great actor. You know, and it feels like Jack Black's doing a lot of this family stuff nowadays, whether it's like Goosebumps that he did or this one. He's, he's one of those actors that's found a really nice niche. He's really likable. He's really funny. He's really relatable. And I just really think he's just a really great comedic actor. He's one of those actors that not many people really talk about as far as like how great he is at comedy, but he can be in sort of a raunchy R-rated thing and it really be great, or he can be in something more family friendly and he does just as good of a job. He's a really great, versatile, comedic actor and I really think he's great, man. And here, he's, he's, he steals the show. He is so awesome here. Steals the show, I really love this one a lot. Yeah, Jack Black is great, man. I'll almost watch Jack Black in almost anything. Even if the movie's bad, Jack Black is usually good in it. Then over here, I am seeing they have, ooh, Assassination Nation, the Blu-ray digital for $19.99, the DVD for $14.99 here. Oh, man. Uh, this movie has Shades of Heathers in it as well, and I don't know if this movie is trying to send out a message of, like, be careful of technology or, you know, be better to... To, to people or be a better human being or something I mean there was a great message to Heathers there was even an interesting message to Mean Girls and something like The Purge but I think a lot of that gets lost in Assassination Nation there's there's just so much violence and and mean spiritedness and just cr cruelty and it just feels just just overdone for the sake of shock and like I said, it's not a bad movie by any means. It's not terrible. The acting's pretty good in it. Like I said, I'm a guy who likes violence and gore and everything, so it's not bad on that front either. But, uh, I mean, like I said, if I if I want this type of movie, like I said, I'll, I'll watch a, uh, a Heathers, which has such a such a better message and, and a better comedic tone to it, and it's it's a better film overall. This one... It's trying to hit you over the head, and I don't quite think it works, really. It's just, uh, yeah, mm, just not entirely my cup of tea, guys. Then over here I am seeing Michael Moore's Fahrenheit 11.9, the Blu-ray digital for $19.99, the DVD for $14.99 here. Oh, again, man, I'm not, not a political guy, so I'm really not going to get into it too, too much, but... You know, again, I do want to say this. My, my Michael Moore is a very outspoken guy. He has a lot of opinions. Whether whether you like it or not, you got to at least appreciate the guy going out of his way to speak and what he thinks. And I would say check out a lot of his early documentaries, which are actually really good and very eye-opening. I just think, you know, sometimes he needs a better perspective at times. He needs to sort of take a step back and look at both the bad and the good. A lot of times he looks at just the bad he, he, he needs to sort of, you know, be a little bit more impartial at times. And I think that's what great, what's great about certain documentaries is that they're impartial. And I think they come across a little bit better. Sometimes he's very partial and it does show at times. But, you know, again, let me know what you guys think. Then over here I'm seeing the DVD of Little Women for $14 here, the DVD. Hmm. 
again, I wasn't really too keen on wanting to actually see the movie, but there was one thing I was really interested in in this movie, and that was Leah Thompson. I'm a big fan of Leah Thompson. I think Leah Thompson is actually a really great actress, and I remember her from Back to the Future and some kind of wonderful, and she, she's such a really wonderful and, and great actress. And when I saw her in the trailer, that's what would have got me in the theater was to see her. But, you know, I guess I can go back and check out her earlier work in order to, to do that. I mean, Howard the Duck? Anybody? Hello? Uh, but, uh, no, it, you know, I don't know how this movie is. It could be good, it could be bad. The trailers didn't do much for me, but definitely let me know what you guys think. Uh, other than that, though, that does it for Target, guys. Not bad selection this week, but they are missing a few things. All right, let's head out. Okay, actually, not bad selection this week at Target, guys. Actually, we found a lot of really great stuff and at least one exclusive to show off here. Now, I did ask the woman behind the counter about the Venom Gallery book, and she ended up telling me that they only got a couple copies in and it flew fast. Really flew off the shelves in a big bad way. And it feels like a lot with these exclusives, they don't get many in. Especially for something that's going to be really, really popular, like a Venom. My friend John, even, like, he's had times where he's wanted to come in for exclusives. Like, there was an Avengers exclusive one time that he wanted to get that was only here at Target. And that, they only got, like, a couple copies in. Like, if there's a big exclusive, you need to get more copies of it in. And they just don't really do it, unfortunately, guys. I mean, I hate to say it. But, I mean, overall, though, I was happy with what they got. And if I had any sort of New Year's resolution for Target, it would be that they actually do better with their physical media. That they actually try to get better stock in and try to, you know, um, bring in the better exclusives and really compete with the bigger people like Walmart and Best Buy. That would be my resolution for Target overall. But this week actually wasn't bad. I was really happy with it overall, and I thought they did a really good job. So... Yeah, you know, guys, overall, though, I was really happy. And again, this week had some good media to show off. And again, Target delivered pretty much as I was expecting. So, yeah, let's head to the third and final location and check out what they got, guys. All right, everybody, we have had a really great time so far checking out the physical media. There is so much released this week. But there's one place we have not gone yet which could be the best of them all for the final time of 2018 and that's Best Buy guys so let's go in check out what kind of media they have the exclusives and cool artwork usually Best Buy delivers and they got to deliver this time it's the last of 2018 they better do it guys so let's go in and check out what they got all right guys we are in best buy here and they have this small display for venom right here not a bad display here small but decent and the first thing i'm seeing here is they have the blu-ray dvd and digital for 22.99 they have the 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital for 27.99 here and they have the blu-ray dvd and digital and 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital Exclusive Steelbooks, $27.99 and $34.99 right here. And, wow, very nice right here. Only at Best Buy Project Pop Art. Very cool. That is really, really nice here. I like that. If you kind of check it out to that cover there. And then that co cover too. Not bad right here. I really like the just in your face with the teeth and everything wow very very cool this is a really nice steel book guys and you know again the thing about it with venom honestly is that the movie you know did very well at the box office people really loved it a lot now right now the mcu has spider-man so they couldn't really put him in this movie and i think it actually is a better thing I know people have talked about putting Spider-Man in Venom 2, and by all means, they are going to do a Venom 2. Uh, they even set it up at the end of the film. I won't give away spoilers, but they do set up for a Venom 2, so they will do it. I don't think they need Spider-Man in this world, guys. I think you could do really great with Venom as this anti-hero character. You don't need Spider-Man here. I think if you put Spider-Man in here 
Venom become sort of the villain again and he, it's really nice for him to be that anti-hero kind of person. I think it works. To do him as this villain character again, I think takes away from the development of this character. You don't need it and Spider-Man's doing well in the MCU. You don't need another one of these type of situations where you bring somebody else in and it just clutters the sequel up. Leave Venom on his own. He's perfectly fine. I hope I hope Sony does a great job with the sequel. Only time will tell, but I'm definitely looking forward to it though, guys. And as far as special features are concerned here, there is quite a bit. Uh, you got extended post credit scene and deleted scenes, uh, the Venom Vision, Designing Venom, Trivia Track. Hmm, a lot of really interesting special features, so not bad for your money's worth, guys. And really cool cover art. Like I said, I like this cover art, really cool. I like this cover art too, and this cover art is really awesome as well. So, actually, it doesn't matter which art you get. They're all pretty decent, honestly. I really do like everything that Best Buy has here, and the Steelbook is really kick-ass, guys. Alright, let's see what else Best Buy has to show off, guys. Alright guys, we are in the new release section over here at Best Buy and I see here they have the DVD of The Predator for $17.99, the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $19.99, they also have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $24.99, and they have the only at Best Buy limited edition steelbook of The Predator for $29.99 here. And this thing looks fucking gorgeous. I love that with the um, with the skulls there that sort of make up his his head. Very nice. That's a really nice steelbook, guys. Really cool. I am really liking this steelbook in a big bad way. This is really awesome here. Wow, very nice steelbook they got for that one. And they also have Blu-ray and digital of the Predator 4 movie collection, though they include the Predator in here for $34.99 and the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital of the 4 movie collection for $49.99 and you know like I said I really like this movie it really just crapped the bed at the box office in a big bad way guys um, which is a real shame because they do leave the movie in kind of a cliffhanger for the next film which I tended to like but you know it's not going to be for everybody look they tried to get Arnold for this film and Arnold didn't want to come back I think only because they wanted him for like a cameo role I think it was and he wasn't having it so he didn't do it honestly I really do love the movie but I get it if you guys don't like it but let me say this much I love that first Predator film I love Predator 2 Predator 2 is vastly underrated I do not like Alien vs. Predator, do not like Alien vs. Predator Requiem, or as I like to call it, AVP Rectum, not good, and, and Predators, boy, I do not like Predators. I think this is really, for me, it goes Predator 1, Predator 2, and then the Predator here. Is I think that kind of where, where my thing is. I, I just don't like those other ones. I think this fits in with the model of the other films. I, I like the humor here, I like the gore, the violence, it, it looks good to me, but, you know, it doesn't have that old school feel as the other ones, and I think those ones are better because of it. It's still a good film, guys, definitely check it out, but I understand if you guys don't like it, though, I get it. It's still good, though, I, li I like it. Then, over here, I am seeing they have the house with a clock in its walls, the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $19.99, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $24.99 here, and this movie is directed by Eli Roth. Yeah, um, Mr. Like, Gore and Violence Eli Roth himself, you know, Hostel, Cabin Fever, Green Inferno, that, 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 uh, Eli Roth. It just amazes me that he could do this type of fantasy kids film, but it works, and he does a great job and it just goes to show that he can do different things like he did i believe also uh that um death wish remake and that death wish remake was really good as well and that was very different from a lot of the like horror stuff that he had done before 
So he's doing different things in the genre, and I think he's really, really good. And I, I, you know, I don't love everything he did. I think Knock Knock is absolute garbage. The Green Inferno is kind of lackluster. Um, Hostel Part 2, I can take or leave it. But I think he's sort of finding his footing again as a director, and I really like what he's doing, and I can't wait to see what else he does. It, it could be really cool here. And the special features here, you get alternate opening and ending, gang reel, movie magic, warlocks and witches, Eli Roth director journal, much more. Not bad for your money, guys. Pretty good for your buck right here. Not bad. And oh, I almost forgot, actually. I didn't even show, show you guys that the Predator special features here has deleted scenes, which I would be really interested to see. A Touch of Black, Predator Evolution, the Takedown Team, Predator Catch-Up Gallery. Not a lot of special features on this one either, but almost for, forgot to show you guys. Then over here I'm seeing the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of A Simple Favor for $19.99. The 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray digital for $27.99. And man, again, I really did enjoy this one. You know, I'm, uh, this kind of reminds me of a murder mystery that that came out a while back, directed by David Fincher, Gone Girl. This kind of has a feeling of Gone Girl to it. And if you like Gone Girl, this is something that you should definitely catch on and watch. Like I said, it's, it's a really interesting movie. It maybe lags a little bit in parts, kind of gets a little bo boring. Um, but... For the most part, though, I think it's actually really effective, and I think you guys should definitely check it out. You get, damn, three audio commentaries, eight feature ads, gag reel, deleted scenes, flash mob, wow, a lot of special features here, and a very well-worthy movie. Definitely check it out if you guys get the chance. It is worth it. Other than that, I think that does it for Best Buy here, at least in this section. Uh, let's see if they got anything else before we head out, guys. All right, guys, we're in this section of Best Buy over here, and I am seeing they have the Blu-ray and digital of Assassination Nation for $19.99. Ooh, there's not much more to say about this movie. Again, guys, if you like Heathers, if you like Mean Girls, stuff like The Purge, maybe this is a mild curiosity, but it's just that. It's, it's just... I didn't mind it because I've seen a lot of movies with a lot of cruel imagery and just people being just mean for mean sake, but it's going to turn a lot of you off, and it's really violent for just violence sake. There's There might be a message here, but it's just stuffed down under so much like hatred and everything. Uh, to me, it's not really worth it, guys. Again, curiosity if you like that other stuff, but I would just honestly skip it, though. Um... You do get deleted extended scenes, gag reel, and trailers. Not much here. If you do like it, for $19.99, maybe wait till the price goes down a little bit. You know what I mean? Then over here, I'm seeing the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of Airstrike for $17.99. Ooh, this movie just looks cheap. It just looks cheap, guys. I mean, even look at that costume by, by Bruce Willis. It just looks like a cheap costume. It looks very cheap. It doesn't look like it's well-made. I like Bruce Willis, and I cannot wait to watch him in Glass next month. I think he's going to be fucking awesome in Glass. Uh, M. Night, I can't wait. But this movie, I just wish he wouldn't do these type of straight-to-DVD movies, man. I mean, he's better than this. Adrian Brody's better than this. I could be wrong, but something tells me I'm not, guys. Uh, then over here, I'm seeing Schindler's List, the Blu-ray and digital for $11.99. The 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $22.99. And I believe this got released as well this week. And it is a goddamn classic. Uh, if you guys have not checked out Schindler's List, what are you doing? It, it is amazing. Um, a very powerful, very strong film here. And Steven Spielberg hits it out of the park. Liam Neeson is amazing in, in here. It's just everybody is fantastic. And... You know, me being Jewish, it was really, really powerful. But more than that, I will admit that my grandmother, when she watched this movie for the first time, she was practically in tears. It's, it's just one of those movies that hits you like a hammer. Very, very well done. Tells a really great, powerful story. And yeah, if you guys have not checked it out, please do. It's, it's incredible. And... 
Schindler's List, 25 years later, Voices from the List. Oh, not bad special features here. But again, I ne I always find that Steven Spielberg never does c commentaries for his movies. I don't, I don't, every single one. I don't know why. Hmm. But a lot of special features. Not a bad list here. And not a bad price either. And down here, I am seeing they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital of 2001 A Space Odyssey for $29.99. And that actually did get released this week as well, guys. Ooh, I haven't watched this movie in a long time, but I remember it being really fantastic. Very, very chilling and awe-inspiring. Very, very well-done movie. Another one that's sort of a must-watch. There's certain movies that are sort of must-sees, and this is one of them. Really, really just amazing, amazing movie. Stanley Kubrick hits it out of the park. And I'm not always a fan of everything Stanley Kubrick does. He's good. But there's certain movies that connect with me more, like 2001 A Space Odyssey was really good. Um, you know, stuff like uh, A Clockwork Orange, The Shining, stuff like that. Uh, Lolita, he did a great job with that film. He, he's a really solid filmmaker. This is a really great, great movie. And it probably looks really wonderful in 4K. I always talk about how maybe some of these movies, older ones, don't look great in 4K. But I think this one would look, honestly, really, really fantastic, guys probably is really good and this is actually the exclusive best buy steelbook which actually looks really good good as well i like the imagery on there really really great yeah very very well done movie guys and you get commentary you know for documentary yeah a lot of special features a lot of great stuff stuff here guys really really well done movie and a must see for every movie lover out there other than that, guys, that seems to do it for Best Buy. A lot of releases to show off this week, guys. All right, let's head out. All right, Best Buy does it again, guys. Really great selection here. Really a lot of releases to show off. A lot of really cool exclusives here. Steelbooks, a whole bunch of different artwork. Very well done. Best Buy delivered again. I kind of knew that they would. They always do for the most part. And they did not disappoint for the final week of 2018. A lot of releases to show off here, guys. And I thought every store actually showed off quite a bit of media. There was a lot to look at and exclusives everywhere. I was definitely happy for the final release week of this month. It's been a great, great year. And, and uh, again... This week is no exception, guys. Really well done here. Really enjoyed what Best Buy had. So that does it for the media, guys. Let's head home and finish the video. All right, everybody. That'll do it for the Blu-ray and DVD out and about video this week. And as I said in the beginning of the video, this is the final out and about video for 2018. Now, next Tuesday is actually Christmas, so yeah, I won't be doing a video then, guys. Even though there might be a title or two that is releasing, uh, no stores are really going to be open. There's no point in really doing it, guys. So I will be back for another Out and About video on January 1st of 2019. But I got to admit, man, that this week had so many wonderful releases and so many great stuff to choose from a lot of great selection at all the stores and no matter where we went there was still at least something to check out there was at least one exclusive to see and the selection was really great across all the stores so this was a really great final week for the physical media of 2018 and you know i got to admit to you guys that this year for 2018 has been really fantastic for physical media I think there's been a lot of wonderful releases that have come out, a lot of really great physical media to check out, a lot of great exclusives to show off, some fantastic looking artwork. Uh, it's been a, a really amazing ride for 2018 and it has just been a blast making these videos. You know, some weeks have been better than others, some weeks have been a little slower, weaker for physical media. But overall, it's been a really, really great time doing these, vi these videos, guys. And you can look back from January all the way to now, and you'll see an evolution of these stores. You'll see all the media that came out. It was just such a blast and a pleasure doing these videos. And I really love it. And it's, it's just wonderful to do them. And 
Uh, you know, as long as you guys keep loving them, I'll keep making them. But yeah, I, I've just had a blast and it's been really, really fun throughout the whole year. And 2018 has been worth it. A great, great year for physical media. Hopefully next year will prove just as good as this year, guys. Definitely let me know what you picked up this week. There was a lot to choose from, so hopefully you guys picked up something. I actually ended up getting two releases from Best Buy right here, guys. Two new ones here, and I got a new release over at Walmart as well. So I got three new releases. I was definitely supporting the stores in a big bad way this week. But that is not all, guys. I ended up getting a package in the mail from Scream Factory right here, guys. Yes, a package in the mail from Scream Factory. Two Blu-rays, one a collector's edition, one a regular Blu-ray, two horror films. Not necessarily classics, more of like call classics, but um, yeah, I am really excited to check these titles out, and they are some really kick-ass ones, so I'm definitely interested to check it out. But you guys will not find out what I got until my Blu-ray pickup video, which will drop at the beginning of next month. It will show off all of the releases for December of 2018. And I am getting some pretty cool stuff, guys. Some older style titles, collector's editions, limited editions, um, new releases as well. There's a lot of stuff to show off. So it, the last month of 2018 will not disappoint, guys. There is a lot of cool stuff to show off. So definitely check out that video when it drops. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out the other Blu-ray and DVD out and about videos I do. Check out the Blu-ray pickup videos. Check out the theatrical movie reviews I do with my friends every single week. Uh, there is so much as far as movies and everything that have come out this year. And we have reviewed a ton of stuff throughout the entire year. If there's a movie that you're interested in and we might have reviewed it, definitely check out our thoughts on the movie review playlist. Um, we, we definitely love discussing movies and talking about movies and um, yeah, it's a pleasure every time we do these reviews. So if you're interested in a movie and we might have done it, definitely hear our thoughts on that guys. And if you're a lover of movies and physical media and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely do that and become part of the Film Fan Nation. I love movies and I have a passion talking about movies. If you've been with this channel enough, you know how much I love and talking about stuff like this. It's just part of my life. It's what I grew up with and I just love it in a big bad way. And I have a soft spot in my heart for it and I love talking about movies with you guys. So definitely hit subscribe. And keep up to date with all the videos I'm doing through Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, FilmFan108. Keep up to date with all the videos that I do. And before I go, I just want to say one quick word here that um, I really thank you guys. You know, this is not easy to do. 2018 was actually my first full year of doing YouTube. Uh, if anybody who's been with my channel long enough has known that... I started the channel probably mid-2017, so 2018 was my first full year of doing this. Uh, it's been a blast. It's been a pleasure, guys. I love doing this um, so much. It's been so wonderful, and I've had the wonderful support of you guys, and that's what makes it worth it. Some weeks are better than others, and some weeks you feel like you really don't want to do this anymore. But when I get the positive feedback and the positive support, it really enables me to want to do this more. And so I really thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you have a really wonderful and happy and safe Christmas. I hope you get everything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful and happy new year as well, guys. Please um, take care of yourselves. And again, have a happy holidays. And I will see you back next month next year for a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video. Take care, guys, and happy hunting.